the field of civil engineering, expansive soils are considered problematic due to its volume altering behavior. It is prevalent in tropical countries such as the Philippines due to its ever-changing climate. Heavy rainfall and dry seasons continuously shift the behavior of soils, which eventually end up in varying forms of structural damages. So what are expansive soils? Expansive soils are soils which exhibit high swelling potential. The introduction of moisture from sources such as heavy rainfall causes its swelling, while the absence of moisture during dry season causes its shrinking. This behavior produces differential movement to the structure, creating cracks on walls, columns, and other structural components. These structural damages may require costly repairs and may pose detrimental hazards. Due to unfavorable conditions brought upon by expansive soils, various codes have emerged to encounter these problems. Section 303.5 of the National Structural Code of the Philippines, or NSCP, suggests that expansive soil may be removed or replaced with non-expansive fields. However, this solution is often considered impractical due to its disposal and transportation limitation. Performing this solution may also cause environmental or economic problems if not executed properly. Another solution provided by the code to mitigate the effects of expansive soils is through soil stabilization. By definition, soil stabilization refers to the alteration of soil properties to improve its engineering characteristics and performance. One form of this is through chemical stabilization. This involves the introduction of materials capable of improving the properties of the soil. Several literatures have found RHA as an effective additive in improving various soil properties. This study seeks to investigate the effectiveness of rice husk ash in mitigating the swelling potential and improving the strength properties of expansive soils. Oftentimes, the excavation of expansive soil poses disposal problems because it cannot be used for construction purposes and is often replaced with a non-expansive fill. Expansive soils are often disposed. However, for certain locations, there are no available areas to dispose these soils. This situation may result into unethical practices such as dumping the unusable soils in areas which can cause environmental hazards. An example of this would be the ongoing construction where the soil for the research was collected. This is the actual location of the creek. As you can see, remnants of the disposed soil can still be observed. Significantly high amount of rice husks are delivered from Tarlac and Waibaisiya to produce energy. This is through the incineration process of biomass power plants, which produces rice husk ash as its main byproduct. The volume of the rice husk ash produced through the incineration process creates 50% of the original volume of rice husks. However, these materials are often left with no industrial use. The disposal of these materials pose significant environmental threat. This study intends to reduce the amount of unused rice as hash through its utilization in mitigating the swelling potential of expansive soil. This study aims to satisfy the following objectives. To evaluate the effectiveness of rice as cash in reducing the swelling potential and improving the engineering properties of expansive soil. To analyze the physical composition of expansive soil and rice as cash and relate its analysis on the development of the index properties of soil RHA mixtures. Lastly, to determine the best proportion of rice husk ash for various tests and identify its practical applications. To identify if the addition of RHA improves the swelling potential and strength properties of expansive soil, it must go through a systematic process which can be summarized into three key components, material sourcing, soil classification, and experimentation. Now we are here at Stored Energy. This is where the rice has had was obtained Through the use of soil maps provided by the National Mapping and Resource Information Authority or NAMRIA, it was revealed that soils around Pulang Lupa, Las Pina City, Metro Manila contain Guadalupe clay, a type of clay which is known to have extreme swelling potential. The samples were specifically obtained from a depth of more than 5 meters below the surface to ensure that there were no organic materials present. Before performing the standard test on soil samples with RHA, the source soil must be classified as expansive. This was done through the formation set by the National Structural Code of the Philippines. After classifying the soil as expansive, tests were performed on uncheated soil samples and soil mixtures with varying percentages of rice ash. 
The soil samples were mixed by volume and the table presented shows the varying amounts of RHA added. The experimentation for these mixtures can be divided into three components, namely, testing for the physical composition of the materials, testing for the engineering properties of the soil mixtures, and testing for the expansion index of the soil mixtures. For the physical composition of both RHA and soil, a scanning electron microscope was performed. This test provides images with high magnification which is used to analyze the microfabric structure of a material. The tests performed to evaluate the effectiveness of RHA as a soil additive was done in accordance to the provisions set by ASTM D4609. The standard states that soil mixtures must improve based on the following criteria to consider the admixture as effective. The evaluation of the expansion potential of soil mixtures was performed through ASTM D4829. To consider the soil mixture as non-expansive, a resulting expansion index value of lower than 20 is required by the National Structural Code of the Philippines. After obtaining the soil, it was classified as expansive in accordance to the requirements of NACP Section 303.5, the presented table, summarized the results of the test. Starting off with the physical composition of the soil, which was obtained through the scanning electron microscope. From here, the following results were obtained. The RHA possessed a high amount of transgranular voids and micropores, which significantly increase its specific area. The increase of the specific area is responsible for the RHA's water adsorption capabilities. As for the clay, the clay contains a high amount of transgranular spaces, which allow the water to seep. Thus, the reason for its potential expansion. Shown in the screen are the requirements to consider RHA as an effective admixture in improving the Adderberg's limit of the soil. Results of the experiment reveal that the liquid limit and the plasticity index of the soil experience a significant decrease as the amount of RHA increase. This can be attributed to the reduction of clay particles and at the same time the introduction of RHA, which is considered as non-plastic. Shown in the screen are the requirements to consider RJ as an effective admixture in improving the compaction characteristics of the soil. Results of the test revealed that the addition of RJ resulted in a decrease in the maximum dry density and an increase in the optimum moisture content. The decrease in the maximum dry density can be attributed to the additional voids from the RJ, while the decrease of the optimum moisture content can be attributed to the increased porosity of the soil mixture. Shown in the screen are requirements to consider RHA as an effective admixture in improving the amplifying compressive strength of the soil. The results of the test reveal that as the amount of RHA increased, the amplifying compressive strength of the soil decreased. This drop can be attributed to the introduction of RHA, which is non-cohesive. The addition of RHA also limits the strength development of the soil over time. To evaluate the expansion potential of the soil, it must exhibit an expansion index lower than 20. The results of the experiment revealed that soil samples with 20 and 25% RHA garnered an expansion index value lower than 20, which classifies the mixture as non-expansive. This is an indication of RHA's high water absorption capabilities since the soil only exhibited minimal expansion despite being fully inundated in water. From the conducted study, the addition of RHA to the expansive soil yielded the following conclusions. A significant increase in the soil's liquid limit and plasticity index indicates an improvement in the Atterberg limits, a decrease in the soil's maximum dry density, and an increase in the soil's optimum moisture content means that RHA is ineffective in improving the soil's moisture density relationship. A decrease in the soil's unconfined compressive strength proves that RHA lacks strength development characteristics. Increasing the amount of RHA reduces the expansion index value of the soil. However, only the mixtures with 20% and 25% complies with NSCP section 303.5. Between the 2% mixtures, 20% RHA exhibits better engineering properties. Given that the soil strength depreciated, it is recommended that further studies are conducted on expansive soils mixed with dry sash ash and a cementitious material, such as self-cementing fly ash or cement kiln dust, which can improve the parameters which were not improved by RHA. In terms of engineering applications, RHA can be added to expansive soils for slope, pipeline, or soil protection projects due to its overall improvement in the soil's water absorption capabilities, aggregate stability, and expansion index.